Hi guys and girls on YouTube, welcome to my channel. Well, the lockdown's over. Uh, it's back. I've been back to work a week already. Um, as you can see, the place is all filled up already. Not as nice as tidy as it was before. Um, just a, a really quick video here. In this video, I'm going to show you. I've got. I've, I've had a fault that's been eluding me for about 12 months now, and it only applies to certain TVs. Um, now this is. Uh, it actually says Bush, but it's made by Vestel. Um, it comes in lots of different brands. Um, now this fault only affects the TVs that have the three AV inputs. It doesn't affect the ones that have a SCART socket fitted there. Um, now I've had the same fault on lots of different sizes. Um, this is a 43 inch, but I've also had the fault on um, 32s, 50 inches, lots of different sizes. But remember, it only affects the ones with the RCA sockets on the back. Um, now the problem is the backlight doesn't come on. Uh, you get sound, no picture. But, but the biggest problem is, and this is why it's taken me so long to find, because all the others I've had in, when I plug it in, the customer moves it from their house to my workshop. When I plug it in, it works all right. And I've tried these sets for weeks on end, and they keep coming on and on. I've sent them back, um, and people have had them for two or three months before they've gone wrong again. Well, eventually now, I find the fault. So I'll just stop the video while I answer the phone, and I'll show you what the problem is. Right, so I'm back again now. Um, right, so I've got the LCD screen out, the LCD panel. Um, now it would appear that the backlights are faulty but that is not the case um, like I said it only affects sets with the RCA's on the back and another common factor is it only affects sets with very low hours use um, I've had them with 1500 hours use and they exhibit this intermittent fault where sometimes the backlight will come on sometimes it won't um, this particular set I'm working on has only actually had 100 or approximately 100 hours use um, but it's been a long time finding this because it was sheer intermittency um, half the time when you plug your set in it comes on and it won't go off again um, well I can show you what it is now um, although fitting a new set of LEDs might cure the fault that um, is not the problem it's a dry joint on this green strip um, and it's actually where the LED backlight plugs into the strip um, there's a bad connection in there, so let's take the strip out and we'll examine it under a microscope. Right, so that's the connecting strip out. Um, it's microscopic, so we'll have to put it under a microscope. But the problem is, a bad connection on here, a, a dry joint, obviously because of the current they're carrying, um, it started burning. Um, now, the only way to do it properly would be to change the LED strips and change this at the same time. Um, but the only problem is, because it's a common fault, you put new parts in, and I think exactly the same thing is going to happen again. So let's just get this strip under the microscope, and I'll show you what the problem is. Right, so that's under the microscope there. Um, I'll point with a little screwdriver. Can you see where it connects there? There's a microscopic burn there and there. And that's what's causing the problem. A high resistance joint um, goes intermittently open circuit and the back lights don't light. Um, now let's move across to the next one. And as you can see, that's got exactly the same microscopic burn there and there. Um, so that's what um, is causing this intermittent fault that I've been looking for for about 12 months now. Uh, let's just have another look at the other one there. And that's it there, another microscopic burn. So every one of these, um, if you look, there's um, one two three four every one of these connectors has that very very small burn on so uh, let me show you the answer to this problem and this will cure it completely without changing this or without changing the back lights right everybody so if you have a quick look here you'll see what i've done um, and get the camera zoomed in 
so we've actually bypassed this connector um, entirely by just using a wire link on each side um, if you have a look um, the only thing to do to get this right is to do all of them um, all four of them and there you go so let's turn the telly on now and hopefully the backlight should come on yeah there we go so that's a hundred percent result right guys and girls on youtube so that's the telly on what we're going to do is put it into the service menu and see how much use it's had Right, so if you look there, the TV lifetime, 6180 minutes. Now, if you divide that by 60, that'll give you the run time in hours. Um, and if you work that out, this telly's had 101 hours use before it's gone wrong. Um, so, um, I'll stop the camera and then we'll have a really quick recap on what sets it affects and what to look for. Right, quick recap, uh, the fault is intermittent sound but no pitch, you just have a black screen. Um, now this is very intermittent, I've had them where they run, people have taken them back and they've run three months and then brought them back with the same fault. Um, sometimes unplugging the set and plugging it back in can make it work again and you can't get it to go off. Um, very, very intermittent, sometimes just moving the set about um, you can reproduce the fault and... Um, it only affects later sets made by Vestel, and you'll know it's a Vestel because um, it doesn't matter what name's there, um, you can tell it's a Vestel by the panel on the back. Uh, this phenomenon only affects TVs that have the RCA on, not a SCART socket fitted there. And uh, well, there you go, guys. Absolute 100% success. I'm glad I found that because um, I've had this problem going on for about 12 months now. People have brought tellies in. They get them here, they work, I run them for a week, they send them back, they come back a few months later, it's gone again. I plug it in, it comes straight on, I can't see anything wrong with it. But that is the problem, and it only affects sets, seemingly, that have had a very, very low um, hours usage time. Um, I think the last one I looked at, um, that had had about 1500 hours, um, and I sent that back because it never went off, and it's never come back since. But um, this one... Uh, fortunately I was able to take it all to bits um, and when I turned it on without the screen fitted in uh, the fault's still there which enabled me to look for it so alright guys uh, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next video